So, uh, Jacqueline, you had mentioned upscaling, rescaling. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so instead of talking about content that aligns to upscaling and rescaling, because you could theoretically talk about basically any piece of content, uh, we're going to talk about really the four differences of upscaling and, scale and rescaling. And uh, the first one being rescaling focuses on preparing employees for new jobs. That's the main difference, right? We really want to kind of define the, the, the two of them. So rescaling occurs when your employees develop new skills they need to take on a new job function in your organization. So the key to choosing candidates for rescaling is to examine employees whose current skill set overlaps with the skills needed for the new position. And then from there, you're going to focus on skills they do not possess and then train on those specifically. Uh, difference number two, uh, really de defining upskilling, right? It's, it's, it focuses on developing new skills for the same role, okay? So like reskilling, upskilling requires employees to learn new information and skills. However, when upskilling employees, you're not training the employee to take on a new role. Upskilling simply provides employees with the tools and knowledge they need to perform the current job more effectively, more efficiently, and in a more modern manner. Uh, difference number three, and this is an important run, the next two, right? So when, when do you want to implement reskilling? So you could use reskilling. Remember, reskilling is for new jobs, right? So you're going to be using reskilling for several situations. But one of the most common is the desire to retain reliable, high-performing or high-potential candidates um, who are ready for a new role, or maybe their role has become obsolete. So an example of this is your organization may implement a business strategy that shifts personnel from one department to another. For example, you know, a push towards sales might require you to move some of your customer support specialists into sales support roles. And if you wish to retain your current employees, instead of going through layoffs and hiring new sales support staff, you would want to rescale those employees for a job change. Okay. And then difference number four is when you want to implement upscaling. So upscaling is generally used to help adapt your workforce to new changes in your industry. So new technology implementations, for example, are a common reason to upscale your workforce. Your VP, your VP of marketing may have you know, 30 years of experience, but that doesn't mean they understand how to manage a new CRM tool that you've just implemented. So those are the four differences for upscaling, rescaling. And 